bow our heads for prayer. O gracious and everlasting Father, the immortal, invisible, and only wise God who specializes in making the impossible possible, the ancient of days who is seated above the circle of the world, and the whole earth is like a grasshopper before you. You turn our fear to joy. You bring peace in times of chaos and confusion. When there was uncertainty, you brought stability and uncertainty. Where there was no hope, you showed yourself as the Almighty who reigns over the affairs of mankind. You are indeed the Lord who knows the end even before the beginning. No power of man, however mighty, can withstand you. The only wise God will honor you today. You dismiss and frustrate the plot of the crafty and install your chosen ones. Who is like you, O God? You decree and no one can query. You establish and no one can disestablish. You enthrone and no one can depose or dethrone. KBSC, you are truly the unquestionable. You are great. You are almighty. The lion of the tribe of Judah. When you propose a thing, no one can challenge. When you enthrone, no one, even not even the most powerful, of course, can challenge you. Truly, you are the God of the universe. You are the God of all wonders. You are incomparable. One generation to another shall continue to give thanks and speak of your wonders as we are doing here in Akure today. Glory be unto you, O God. Here in Ondo State, we declare that you are our God. And so we give you praise. O Lord, to the for the people of Ondo State, for the peaceful election of October 10, 2020, for the emergence of your children, Oluwarotimi Odua Yuakire Dolu, and his deputy, Loki Orimi Sayedatiwa, we praise you, O God, accept our thanksgiving. Amen. Today, as they take oath to serve your people in this state, be present to honor their commitment inspire their resolve Amen. strengthen them and bless them with uncommon grace to perform Amen. may they be faithful to their oath may they never be distracted Amen. bless them with courage and the audacity to face the challenges of office Amen. trusting only in your power to help them Amen. and as they depend on you heavenly father may they never fail Amen. some trust in chariots and some in horses but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. They collapse and fall, but we rise and stand upright. As these two trust in you, may they never fall. Amen. Where others are falling, may they rise and stand upright. O oh Lord our God, guide them in their thinking. Support them in their initiatives. And under them, may the sun of Undoste continue to shine. And may it shine brighter. Thank you for the achievements of the past four years in the building of infrastructures. 
provision of services and in their care for the human welfare and well-being and in all facets of governance. In the next four years, may they achieve more. In education, industrialization, creation of jobs, welfare of the people, in security and general administration of this state, may they grow from grace to grace. When the righteous reigns, the people rejoice. Under the administration, may the people of Ondo State rejoice. Amen. May all the glory, honor, praise, and adoration be ever yours. Amen. And we ask, O oh God, that you will bless them with good health Amen. and give them peace in their homes. Amen. Give peace to them and their wives. Amen. Give peace to them and their children. Amen. And may your presence be here, O oh God, to lead and direct the affairs of this ceremony. And to you, O Lord our God, be glory forever and ever, who reigns in heaven with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Right, Reverend Stephen Ayodeji Fagbemi, Bishop of Owo, Anglican Diocese. Please, we may be seated. Thank you very much. Please, I wish to request very respectfully that all the photographers should step down from the podium. Thank you very much. Please, it is very important we obey this instruction. Also, may I respectfully request that we should all take our seats. Please, it's important we keep the hall very quiet. While this is a celebration, it is also a time of deep reflection as the governor of Undo State and leader of the state takes his oath of office for a second term. May I request once more that we all take our seats. Thank you very much. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Minister of Mines and Steel, Minister of State, Niger Delta, Minister of Interior, Senator Barofis, Deputy Leader of the Senate, former Senate President Ken Namani, Senator Iyola Omishore, former Deputy Governor of Osho State, Alhaji Ali Olanusi, former Deputy Governor of Ondo State, Chairman of the All Progressives Congress in Ondo State, and all chieftains of the APC, Speaker and members of the State House of Assembly, the Chief Judge and members of the Judiciary, religious leaders, and of course, traditional rulers. May I respectfully also welcome all chairmen of local governments, all permanent secretaries in the state, and all top government functionaries who are here and who are watching. Indeed, let me welcome to this event everyone who is watching this inauguration ceremony via their television sets, those who are listening to it on radio, as well as those who are accessing it through the different online platforms. Congratulations to the people of Ondo State. Having recognized everyone, let me also say specifically that at the appropriate time, all the traditional rulers who are here will be recognized one after the other. You would observe that I have deliberately not mentioned any traditional ruler. I wanted all of them to, to arrive before we do the introduction of all the traditional rulers one by one. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, may I therefore respectfully welcome to this very special ceremony the governor of Ondo State and his lovely wife, Arakuni Oluwarotimi Oduayo, Akere Dolu, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, and Arabere Betty Anyawu Akere Dolu, 
Your Excellency is your most welcome. Congratulations on this very special event. Let me also say emphatically that Arakuni Oluwaro Timi Odunayakredolu is not just the governor of Ondo State. He is the leader of the people of Ondo State. Let's put our hands together for a man who thinks Ondo State and thinks its people every time. Let me welcome also, I'm told before that, let me quickly also welcome to this event specially to the Deputy Governor-elect, Honorable Lucky Orimison Ayedatiwa and his wife, Mrs. Ayedatiwa. Thank you very much. Congratulations. That's the more appropriate one to say. Congratulations. Okay. The event is about to start. Please, everyone should sit. Please find a space to sit as I welcome the former governor, former deputy governor of Imo State, His Excellency Prince Eze Madumere MFR. Please let us take our seats. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I would now like to hand over the... Okay, I'm told that the former governor of Ugu State, Ibikuli Amosu, is here also. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to now invite the chief registrar of the Ondo State Judiciary, Mrs. Please, the chief registrar should make her way here, Mrs. Bolatito Ajibade, to take over the proceedings as the governor and the deputy governor-elect are being inaugurated. Thank you very much. Your Excellencies, my Lord, your noble chief judge, Permit me to adopt the protocol already established by the MC. We are now at the crucial stage of this program. And it is my pleasure to invite the Deputy Governor-elect, Honorable Loki O. Ayeda Tsewa, to be sworn in as the Deputy Governor of Ondo State. Your Excellency, please, you will be accompanied by your wife and your children only. with the hope of a legend. Thank you. I, Lucky, Uri Misson, Ayeda Tiwa, the Deputy Governor-elect of Ondo State, do solemnly swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Federal Republic of Nigeria and that I will preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So help me God.
I, Honorable Lucky, Tori Mison, Aye Datiwa, do solemnly swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that as Deputy Governor of Ondo State, I will discharge my duties to the best of my ability faithfully and in accordance with the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the law, and always in the interest of the sovereignty, integrity, solidarity, well-being and prosperity of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that I will strive to preserve the fundamental objectives and directive principles of state policy contained in the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that I will not allow my personal interest to influence my official conduct or my official decisions, that I will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that I will abide by the code of conduct contained in the fifth schedule of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that in all circumstances I will do right to all manner of people according to law, without fear or favor, affection or ill will, that I will not directly or indirectly communicate or reveal to any person any matter which shall be brought under my consideration or shall become known to me as Deputy Governor of Ondo State, except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Deputy Governor of Ondo State. So help me God. Hearty congratulations. I wish you a very successful tenure. God bless you. Congratulations.
the Executive Governor of Ondo State, Your Excellency, Honorable Lord K. Ori Misson, Ayeda Chewa. God bless you, sir. You may please go back to your page. Governor has just been sworn in. It is now my pleasure to invite His Excellency, the Governor elect, Arakonri Oluaro Timi Odun Ayo Akere Dolu, to swear to his vote of allegiance before my Lord, the Honorable Chief Judge, Honorable Justice Olan Rewaju Olutoyin Akere Dolu, Your Excellency, sir, and your children. He has the mic. I have my children there. I don't know how to do it. They'll just be behind me. Let your son speak at the side. Attention, please. The governor elect is about to take his sort of allegiance. Let there be silence, please. Do solemnly swear that I bear true allegiance to the federal republic of Nigeria. And I will prefer to protect and defend the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So help me God. Amen. Amen. Better. 
Aye, Oluwaro Timi, Oduayo, Akere Dolu, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, do solemnly swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that as governor of Ondo State, I will discharge my duties to the best of my ability, faithfully and in accordance with the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the law, and always in the interest of the sovereignty, integrity, solidarity, well-being, and prosperity of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that I will strive to preserve the fundamental objectives and directive principles of the state policy contained in the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that will not allow my personal interests to influence my official conduct or my official decisions that I would do to the best of my ability preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that I will abide by the code of conduct contained in the fifth schedule to the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that in all circumstances I will do right to all manner of people according to law, without fear or favor, affection or ill will, that I will not direct or indirectly communicate or reveal to any person any matter which shall be brought under my consideration or shall become known to me as governor of Ondo State, except as may be required for due discharge of my duties as a governor and that I will devote myself to the service and well-being of the people of Nigeria. So help me God.
Вон за нами. Mr. Governor, I congratulate you and I wish you a very successive, a successful tenure. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Good people of Ondo State, I have the honor and the privilege to introduce to you the Governor and the Deputy Governor of this state. The Every supported by Chief Mrs. Betty Ayawu Akeredolu and Honorable Lucky Ayeda Siwa. Every supported as well by his wife, Mrs. Ayeda Siwa. Praise the Lord. Congratulations, Your Excellency. You may please take your seat. Please immediately after this photograph everybody should leave the red carpet every single person we do not want to see a single person on the red carpet not one not one please it's important we stick by the advice that comes from here Congratulations, Mr. Governor, Mr. Deputy Governor, and our spouses. Please, everybody, not even the security agencies, everybody, not even the security officers, please. Please, everyone should leave the red carpet. All of us should leave the red carpet, please. While the red carpet is being cleared, let me welcome Mr. Governor, let me welcome one of the foremost leaders of APC, Chief B.C. Akonde. Why is it difficult for us to do as we have been advised to? This red carpet should be free of every person. Please, it's important. Mr. Governor, I also like to welcome to Undos the man you always call your brother, Governor, Dr. Kayode Fayemi, Governor of Ekiti State, and his wife, Erelu. DC fire me. Your Excellency, you're welcome to the state. May I also welcome another brother governor of yours, all the way from Lagos State, Mr. Babajide Sawolu. Your Excellency, you're most welcome. May I also welcome The governor of Oshu State, Mr. Adegboyega Oyetola Ileri Oluwa, State of Oshu. Your Excellency, you are most welcome. I'd like to welcome the governor of Ogun State, Mr. Dako. Abiyadu, Your Excellency, thank you for coming all the way. May I also 
welcome the governor of Edo State, His Excellency Dr. Godwin Nogaese Obaseki. Thank you very much. Welcome to the Sunshine State. Of course, all the governors are accompanied by top officials of their states. Let me welcome all of them. Thank you very much for joining us. May I also welcome Pastor Itua Iwodalo from the Trinity Church in Lagos. He has specifically come here to say congratulations one uh, to Mr. Governor and his deputy. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, introductions will continue. As I said earlier, the list of royal fathers is coming in trickles and I will recognize them one after the other. They are very special to Mr. Governor and I know that he would like to do the introductions one after the other. Of course, that responsibility I will take. Please, we still have people on the red carpet. That's why it's difficult to proceed. Thank you very much for your show of understanding. The governor will in a few minutes proceed to inspect the guard of honor and when he does that, when he, when he steps out to, into, to inspect the guard of honor, let us all remain seated. You can watch it clearly on all the screens in the hall. I am sure the aisle is now set for the leader of the state and governor of the state. It is not enough to be governor. It's also important to be the leader of your people. And it's important for your people to recognize you as their leader. So, we are proud, honored to introduce to all the governors who are seated, all the governors who have come to celebrate with our own governor, that Arakuni Oluwaroti Meakere Dolu is not just governor, he's our leader.
Welcome, Chief Nathaniel Fakwunda, Okeigo, APC political leader. Mr. Governor, congratulations. Ashe, thank you, thank you. Ashe, Ashe, go to the lodge, Ashe, Ashe. Mr. Governor, while you are inspecting the parade, the national leader of the All Progressives Congress, Ashiwaju Ahmed Bolatinubu, arrived. Thank you very much. Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Thank you very much. Accompanied by Chief Pius Akiel Ren. Please. Mr. Governor, before you read your inauguration address, I had earlier said that I will, one after the other, introduce the royal fathers who are here because of the passion you have for them and the passion they have for you. But before I introduce the royal fathers, let me welcome, let me welcome the mother of the governor. The person who brought him forth to this world. What the Yorubas say, Enito Dejele, Governor Lori, Mama, Evangelist, Grace, Akere Dolu, congratulations. Yeah, no. Anybody go near it I follow you. I can't lap up for ten trailer. I could do it. Eshe, Eshe. 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 Mama, Arabi Betty is taking good care of your son. She's doing very well. She's doing very well. Mr. Governor, let me quickly welcome all the royal fathers, one after the other, as I said we would do before the events hit the ground running. I'd like to welcome Oba Doctor Frederick Obateru Akinuton, C.O.N. Olugbo of Ugbo Kingdom, and Chairman on the State Council of Obas. KBSC, you're welcome. His Imperial Majesty, Oba Ajibade Badegeshi Oboye III, the Olowo of Owo, and Paramount Ruler of Owo Land. His Royal Majesty, Oba Dr. Yusuf Adebori Adeleye O.O.N. Olubaka of Okakoko, 
His Royal Majesty Oba Jibi Faduile, the Abodi of Ikale Land, Kabiesi. His Royal Majesty Oba A.S. Momo, the Olukare of Ikare Akoko. I'd like to also welcome Oba Doctor Ade Kiladejo, CFR, the Oshemawe, and Paramount Ruler of Bondo Kingdom. Oba Doctor Olufaderi Adetimei, the Jegu and Paramount Ruler of Ileoluji Kingdom. His Royal High Majesty Oba Aderemi Adelola the Ajobu of Arara Miobu. Oba Professor Deakin Sunday Adeji Mola Amushion Lawe the second the Kalasue of Apoi Land. Oba Oluwaro Timi Oba Muagun The Olumoru of Imoru Kabiesi, you're most welcome Oba Omotunde Alaba Adako Oliere of Iyere Kingdom Kabiesi, thank you Pere Barrister ZD Egunu JP the Agadagba of Arubo. His Royal Majesty, Oba Dr. Samuel Adeoye Edema I, the Molokun of Atijere Kingdom. His Imperial Majesty, Oba Ogulade Alade Toibo Alade Lucy, Kabiesi, the Deji and paramount ruler of Akure Kingdom, Akure Tiletoko. His Royal Majesty Andrew Ikweson, the Olubo of Obela Kingdom. His Imperial Majesty Oba Oluwashegun Williams Akinyomi, the Abakpetu of Mainland. His Royal Majesty, Dr. Ado Ibrahim, C.O.N., the Ohinoi of Ibira Land, represented by His Highness Prince Hamza Usman, the Talba of Ibira Land. I'd like to welcome His Royal Highness Eze Yunan Eke, the Royal Father of Emma Biam, Oweri West, Imo State. Your Excellency, I hope I got it. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming all the way. Let me also welcome Pastor Michael Ogumbayode of the Congress of World Breakthrough Network. Thank you very much. Let me welcome the Chief Imam of our war, Al Haji Ahmed Al I'd like to also welcome Bishop Okpayinka, very reverend Agbola, venerable Kunle Babalola of the Government House Chapel. Let me welcome His Excellency, the Right Honorable Aminu Bello Masari CFR. Represented by Honorable Kabir Shwaibu, Special Advisor to the Katsina Governor on Political Matters. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I may not have covered all who are here, but I assure you that in the course of this event, before we wind down, I will surely do that. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, of course, I like to appeal that at this point everyone should sit. Everyone in the hall should sit. 
As soon as I drop the microphone, I will find a place to sit as well. Everyone should sit because we are going to a portion of the event where we will praise God. The one who deserves our honor, our praise, the one who deserves everything from us, the one who was, is, and forever will be, it's time to praise him. Let us sit. Please, the song that will be rendered by the Emerald Choir will be the theme for the second tenure of Governor Oluwarotimi Timiakiridolu. It's important that we all listen. I appeal to everyone on the aisle, please leave the aisle. Let's clear the red carpet. Let me also welcome all the governors in Nigeria to this place. After all, the chairman of the Nigeria Governors Forum is here. Dr. Kayo Defiemi is representing all the governors. Thank you very much for coming. Eshe, 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 Akorni, Alulu, Akpo, Akpo. So while the Emerald Choir is getting ready and we're clearing the aisle, let me welcome His Royal Majesty, Oba Major General Olufemi Olutoye, retired, the Alani of Idoani, represented by the Balogun of Idoani. I'd like to also welcome former Deputy Governor of Ondo State, Alhaji Lasisi Oluboyo, and another former Deputy Governor of Ondo State, Alhaji Ali Olansi. Emerald Choir, are we good to go? Please let's keep the hall quiet. This is a special song. The title of the song is Abba Father. You are blessed as you listen. We are taking the other one, Our Excellence. And the last one, a special song for the state and our dear governor. Thank you.
take our excellence is thy loving kindness, O oh God.
is a danceable one. It's for the state and our dear governor. The song says, Aketi Tesiwaju Ipigi Galayewa. So bless us to listen. Thank you. Nigeria Governors Forum, Mr. Babajide Sawolu, Chairman of the Campaign Committee, Prince Dakbo Abiodu, Member of the Campaign Committee, Mr. Boyega Yetola, Member of the Campaign Committee. When, of course, all of these when elections were going to be held, and of course, Dr. Godwin Obasiki. I won't forget to res respect the wife of Dr. Fayemi, Ere Lupisi Fayemi. Ladies and gentlemen, may I now have the honor and privilege to invite the governor and leader of Ondo State. Please let us rise to welcome to the microphone our own leader and governor, Arakuni Oluwarotimi Odunwa Yoakere Dolu, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, as he delivers his inauguration address. Mr. Governor Sir. Can you please all sit down, please? Can you sit down, please? Can you sit down, sir? Eshe. Eshe. Thank you. Oto 
I, I seriously do not know how to start. The guests here today are all very, very important. And I'm sure with the kind permission of all our important guests, all of you, but I'm still going to, at a point in my speech, thank you and recognize you. But for now, I take your kind permission to just adopt the protocol that I've been established all this while and say, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, KBSs, all of you, I greet all of you, my brother governors, <laughs> my Brother governors, I greet all of you. All of you. I will praise the Lord with all my acts. I will tell of all the marvelous things you have done. I will be filled with joy because of you. I will sing praises to your name, O Most High. Those who know your name, trust in you. For you, O Lord, do not abandon those who search for you. Sing praises to the Lord who reigns in Jerusalem. Tell the world about his unforgettable deeds. Courage, brother, do not stumble. Though thy path be dark as night, there is always a path to guide the humble. Trust in the Lord and do the right. Exactly four years ago, this journey began. It commends on the strength of our unshakable and collective faith in God Almighty. As we committed our desire then, an aspiration and indeed a vision for a new Ondo state. I recall with nostalgia the bold walk into the cloud of uncertainty with you my good people of Ondo State, the Sunshine State, as my beacon. I recall with joy as I cast my mind back to those words of hope, the pronouncement of confidence, and the incredible movement of zeal with the spirit of patriotism at the ice team. I did say to our people in those state, we can rise out of the dust and build a new Ondo state where honesty, prosperity, and confidence can once again be our self-identity. We can pull ourselves by the bootstraps and shake off our current frustration and disappointment that was then. We must recognize the deeds for a cohesive platform, indispensable to an effective and efficient implementation of policies and programs of both the government and the party, respectively. Let me thank God Almighty for the opportunity to see this day. I remain eternally grateful for being here in good health. I'm very ready to continue the redemptive mission for which the good people of Ondo State renewed a mandate which was done with a resounding victory. I am not unmindful 
of the axiom that the reward of hard work is another land of hard work. Our hands remain on the plow. We are committed irrevocably to setting the state on the path of real growth and development. In the beginning, the ship of our administration set sail on Friday, 24th February 2017, with a firm and resolute pledge to steer the affairs of Ondo State on the journey of redemption. I stand here today to proclaim before the Almighty God and the good people of Ondo State that we have been steadfast, focused, despite daunting challenges. We have taken the welfare of our people as central to all activities of governance. We believe that the happiness of the citizens should be the ultimate aim of the public engagement undertaken on their behalf. Our administration inherited a lot of challenges on our national office. We took our time to take stock before embarking on the journey of redemption. We proceeded with rigorous fiscal discipline and dedication to identify and complete all projects within available resources. Paucity of funds has been a major challenge militating against the quest to actualize lofty objectives which our administration under our leadership conceived to ameliorate the deplorable conditions under which our people live. Our activities have been impactful and protective of the people regardless of their status. We stand before you with pride, good people of the state, to present our scorecard. We acknowledge the huge infrastructural deficit still among other challenges. There is a lot of our areas yearning for attention. We may not have met all realistic expectations on improving the living conditions of our people. Despite this, we are confident that posterity will read about this era and feel proud of our achievements. Our victory at the last election confirmed the love and trust we enjoy from our people. We cannot afford to depart from the redemptive and the restorative path which shall proceed with keener enthusiasm to justify the renewal of our mandate to serve our people. We promise, as we have done, to insulate the civil service from politics as much as practicable. We made a solemn pledge that no worker will be victimized under our watch and that workers' welfare will be treated as top priority. We inherited salary areas of seven months from the middle past administration. We have been able to offset six months. Politics no longer determines the progression of diligent public officers. We are up to date in the promotion of workers which have been based on merit. We pay salaries and allowances until COVID-19 disrupted most of our plans. We had ambitious projects conceived for the benefit of our people. The pandemic has done its worst, and that has impacted also on our revenue generation. We have been able in the last four years to complete projects, roads, and I will not want to bore you here, this is my statement, all the roads we have done in the Northern Senatorial District, in the Central Senatorial District, in the South Senatorial District, all of them are listed in the 
speech which, are, which is being circulated now. We are led the fears of the good people of Ondo Kingdom. And the shame away is here to be a witness. And sustaining the obnoxious practice which usually so, so a subsidization abandoning project meant to bring soccer to the down trading. We have not only continued to give the University of Medical Sciences the deserved attention through massive investment in infrastructure, this government has ensured that all ITA to unaccredited courses which threaten the continued existence of the institution as a citadel of training for medical personnel, the first in this country have been accredited by the appropriate bodies. We remain committed to ensuring that, our, that the institution has a befitting teaching hospital with structures in Ondo and Akure. Our government is building 500 bed complex in each of these two towns with seven functional theaters, four in Akure and three in Ondo. We made the sector grasping for bread on our session of office. Can I show you that a lot have been done. The Ondoli Industrial Hub in Are is becoming one of the established industrial city in this country. It's a product of ingenuity, dedication, and resilience. Young men and women are getting engaged, full of hope for a better tomorrow. Their forestation project in partnership with WeWood from China is very much on course. We note with palpable pride that the last time any project of any such historic potential to protect the state against the negative impact of climate change was conceived and executed during the late Pai Adekunle Ajashi administration in the Second Republic. We have started and we are. All the adjoining roads at Ore have either been reconstructed or repaired. The wonderful people of Odibo, they are here. Igwe have always expressed their belief in our aspiration to lead right from the time we ventured into partisan politics. We thank you for and we will not let you down. The Okutuka Bypass was a forest when we came in. Today, for me really, Ayeka, Sabome, Ibekebo, Ibubini, Aboto, and Atuatijere, among other areas in the south, this administration is kept its promise to reach the nooks and crannies of the state. The Olusegu Agabu University of Science and Technology, Okutuka, formerly on those the University of Science and Technology, has received considerable attention, which makes the indigenous proud that we have reclaimed their space as citizens of this state. I'm sure those from the South and Okutuka are proud of this. Now, bitumen exploration is at an advanced stage in Ireland. The DC port project is also going on at an appreciable level. The Arara Lekki Road will become a reality very soon. The project commenced to ameliorate the pilot state of the economy is being done by us and we hope to play a significant role in the success story. In education, we have done a little bit. This administration has innovated, rebuilt, or reconstructed 
over 800 primary schools through this suburb. Our goal is to make all public schools as attractive as possible. We have given approval for recruitment of teachers in primary schools in the state. As soon as the economy begins to look up, the secondary schools will have their fair share. Our administration has impacted remarkably on the agricultural sector. Our decision to steer the affairs in this sector towards agribusiness was well thought out. We gave up top quality tractors at 30% subsidy. We cleared 1,500 hectares of land across the state for the benefit of farmers and the youth who are ready to utilize it. We have constructed 100,000 capacity poultry pens. We are currently in partnership with the German company, the big Dutchman, constructing a 50,000 capacity big village. The planting of cocoa has resumed at a friendly big scope of space. The cash crop has been our identity for long. It is deplorable that this money spinner was regretted or relegated for handouts. We have revitalized the industry. So most of us who have our gifts today will see the best chocolate in the world, which is made in Ondo State in Idori. We decided to pack it so I can have it. The Idori chocolate factory is now operating. We have the best chocolate in the world. We are also developing the largest single cocoa estate in Nigeria. Our Ibautu broiler scheme has been a tremendous success. We have empowered our beekeepers and the Sunshine Honey Factory have received a boost. As you all know, the primary responsibility of any government is security of lives and properties of the citizen. Our administration is determined to make our state safe for the residents and visitors alike. We have had a share of security challenges since the assumption of office. We have been able to confront these problems headlong. This problem has been one of the main issues militating against development in this country. Apart from COVID-19 pandemic, the other debilitating issue is security. We have the firm belief that it is high time the police central command become devolved to the federating units for effective monitoring. We have been relentless in advocating, therefore, for the establishment of state police and we will continue to call for it. There can be no other way if we are indeed serious about securing lives and properties. It is this incongruity which propelled the Southwest governors to form the regional security network, which you could name Amotekun. The ultimate is to convince others to understand that the devolution of authority is inexorable. Every state, everyone, every state must be allowed to secure its space. Amotekun has done very well in their short time of existence. It has been able to work with the law, establishing work within the law. Its operation and successes recorded justify its establishment. We have instructed the commander to recruit more cable hands, capable hands into Amotekun. We want to reassure visitors, residents, and citizens of the readiness of our government to, pro to protect lives and properties in this state. We are not paying mere lip service to this avail. It is a priority. There cannot be prosperity in an insecure environment. We will continue to keep our eyes on the goal. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, 
we were convinced from the onset that the sad, the task of social engineering would not be easy. We came on stage with the resolve to confront our challenges without let. We knew that some governmental policies might be misconstrued and intentions twisted. We remain focused all through the first four years. Though we are yet to reach the set goal, we are confident that this administration is on the right path. We will not depart from the trading path which has earned us affection and deep reference from the citizenry. We shall continue with more vigor to justify the trust hand by administration. This second time, for us, is not a time for realization. Work has just started. We are not under any illusion that it will be easy. We are however ready to proceed on the journey with renewed enthusiasm and vigor. The COVID-19 pandemic has had this deleterious effect on global economy. Things we pray will not get worse. Loss of jobs have been on the frightening scale. Production of goods and services has permitted a national economy I'm told as the game from recession. That was before I wrote. After I wrote this speech, I thought it was in recession. I said it as ingenuity, resourcefulness, courage, and artwork will be needed. Will be the needed virtues for the survivor in the days ahead. Our administration intends to focus on agriculture and youth empowerment through entrepreneurship. This has led us to establishment of ONDIA, as Ondo State Entrepreneurship Agency. We intend to revolutionize agriculture, taking it beyond theory and anchoring all expectation on practicals. I must also reiterate that the economic fortunes of this state are in the belly of the South Senatorial District. That is where our economic fortune is. We have tried in the last four years to identify, annex, and reorganize the potentials of the region. As a way of rejigging our administration, we have painstakingly reviewed the programs which guided our first time. All of you know our JMPPR that guided our first time. A lot of dynamics have come into play since we took over the reins of governance in 2017. You will agree with me that the challenge of security has become more important than it used to be. The need to place more emphasis on availability of energy for our industrial development has also become greater. This new focus has necessitated the need for us to review JMPPR to cater for these areas necessary for our development. I wish to state that we have been reviewing these programs since our victory at the last election with a view of achieving more improvement in service delivery. Thus, in the next four years, we will be pursuing a totally repackaged program, christened, redeemed, redeemed, and Rural and Agricultural Development. E. Educational Advancement and Human Capital Development. D. Development through Massive Infrastructure. E. Efficient Service Delivery, Development and Policy Implementation. E. Effective Air Care and Social, service, social Welfare Services. M is more very important to us, maintenance of law and order for adequate security. E, energy, mining and sustainable industries. And D, digital revolution and entrepreneurship. Not this time, Mama, I don't know. We'll do it together. <laughs> so, 
Let me now come to this part of my speech. I want to thank Mr. President and Commander-in-Chief for the Armed Forces, President Mamadou Buhari, DCFR, for the official support and the confidence he in us since the commencement of this administration. I also want to thank our national leaders, Asiaju Bola Ahmed Tinumbu Ijaga Bogu. I thank Baba B.C. Akonde, Baba M.O.K.K.K. I thank Chief Odige Oyegun. I thank Comrade Adams of Shia Mole. And other pers eminent personalities for the sustained interest in our programs of development. I cannot forget my brother governors. They are not holding their, they are not with my speech, but it's there. So I'm not just injecting it, I've uh, written there. My brother governors in APC have been no less supportive. All of you, you have been great. My depth of your, the depth of your interest and support cannot be discounted. All of you, I want to thank you. And I want to thank members of the Nigerian Governors Forum, especially Southwest Governors Forum, for the continued understanding and cooperation throughout my first time. I must thank my brother, my neighbor, my friend, and my co-traveler in many areas, Godwin Obaseki. Thank you for coming. They want to take money from you. Uh, yes, they said you have returned back to the fold, and we are happy to have you. <laughs> My word. If they cannot bring you, I will bring you back. Come on. <laughs> I thank you, Godi. Godi, I thank you so much. As I've been saying, I, I, let me say this. I want to thank the Speaker of the House of Assembly. Mr. Speaker, the Deputy Speaker, I don't know where he is, I'm sure he's somewhere. The principal officers, and other members of the House of Assembly, I know you are all in white. Uh -huh. Clap for yourself now. You are there. For being the true representative of the people. You know those of you who represented the people. I am not taking your support for granted. I thank you all. I thank you. I want to thank members of the judiciary led by the able chief judge, Alain Iwaju, Oluwa Tony, Akure Dolu. I thank you, my Lord CJ, and members of the judiciary. I think other members are here. I don't know where they are seated. Oh, I, I, I forgot. I didn't look at the black suit. You are all here. <laughs> they are my brothers. <laughs> so we belong to the same place. Papia, none of the Shekufago in India that is in front of him. So I want to thank all of you, seriously, for being steadfast. Our administration will continue to support the third and the government to the best of our ability. I want to thank so many of our leaders are here. So many. All of you are important. All leaders of our party, both past and present, at all levels for building this political platform to this enviable state which has made it possible for some of us to function. You are the ones that made this possible. But for you, who won't be here. Your toil has paid off. I thank all our political leaders, others who are not, that I have not mentioned. 
I want to acknowledge your support towards the actualization of our dream to steer the ship of affairs of Idea State. Let me especially thank my chairman, Mr. Johnson, the current interim chairman of Agri Party, engineer Ade Ade Timei. We call him Mr. Johnson. Any other Johnson is a candidate for your chairman. I thank you for your doggedness and I thank you for your loyalty. You deserve a special mention for praise. You stood solidly behind us in all our quest to continue to render petroleum service to the people of this state. You spawned all treasurous attempts by enemies of the state to create disaffection. You are a hero of the success achieved in the first four years. I express my profound gratitude to you and all members of the working committee. You have done well for your support for Canada departing in the past four years. Let me see this moment to thank all those who chose to serve our people with me in the last four years. Most of all of them are here, I'm sure, as former members of the high school of the state. If you are out there, my former commissioners, and those of you who see the turn, I don't know, but I greet all of you. <laughs> I want to thank you. I have been particularly fortunate to have this caliber of men and women in the state high school and in their administration. The modest achievement we have recorded will have been very difficult, if not impossible, without the cooperation of these dedicated appointees. I thank you all. I thank you for your good work. This mama is just taking photographs. Uh, Regent, sit down. I congratulate you for being part of issue. May I be permitted, with all respect, to congratulate all contestants in the APC primaries conducted in Nondo State before the Gumaitra election. I thank you all, all of you, for your gallantry and commitment to democratic principles. They are there, I'm sure Shola is here. I don't know where he's sitting, but they are also, they say all of you are at the back. It's like providers in the front. Because uh, you are wonderful, you are, all of you are wonderful. I thank you for your cooperation in this election. I thank you profusely for putting interest of the state first above your personal consideration. Everybody was, I was totally hmm, flabbergasted when all of you decided to support us. Everybody, it's worth being applauded. These gentlemen are great people put all their personal ambition aside and supported us. All of us participated together in the last election and all of us are winners. All of us are winners. I must not fail to thank the campaign committee led by the one and only one, Songwo Eko, who also came here and other son who also won't do. Eh? Celebu. 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 I thank you and all members of the committee, including Boyega, the gentleman operator who operates silent, silent operator. Great. Great. And our task man, Kayode, JKF. Thank you. You are there. All of you. Several nights in Nondo State planning the success of the person without you. Let us thank Bagudu and others who came. All of them. They, they did their best. I want to thank you and appreciate you. Let me therefore use the opportunity to thank uh, the wife of the governor of a kitty state for allowing him to come. Uh, I thank you 
Edenu, thank you. You are carried. You are carried. Uh, I know Edenu loves to go to Baba from this house because when you get there, you are always carried. Baba will serve us with everything we need. You are carried. Thank you uh, for allowing Kaudi to do all this. I must not forget to mention my family. Earlier, I want to thank you all for your support. You have been wonderful. I thank all of you. I thank you. I express my profound gratitude to all of you, my children, for maintaining decorum and decency. I want to thank you. These are the three values upon which Akeru family is built and repeated. I'm proud of all of you and I appreciate your sacrifices in the past four years. You are proud to any good parent. I'm proud of all of you. I thank you. By solicit your assistance and cooperation in the coming years, I'm entirely grateful for the expression of love and performance of filial duty. All of you, I thank you. Let me also thank my members of my family, the extended family, for their understanding. I want to appreciate my mom, who will be turning 89 in the next two days. Mommy, hello, I'm going to tell you. I say, oh, boy, I'm going to me. Oh, boy, I'm going to kill you. have always been there for me. I thank you all. I talk about you. I want to talk about you. We are all big family. I must thank you. Mami, I'm going to tell you. And we will celebrate it in, in the way that children should celebrate their mothers. I'm proud of you. And as I'm drawing, drawing close, people are wondering, he's thanking everybody. Oh, is he going to leave her out? Ah. Let me thank my adorable wife, Betty. I thank my adorable wife, Betty, my soulmate, for the tireless service rendered for the people of Ondo State and humanity. I am proud of you as a partner, very proud of you. I celebrate your degradness as a fighter, and I celebrate you that you have conquered a lot of adversities. I thank you. I cherish your relationship as my confidant, my advisor, and major critic, because I won't rest. I revel in your victories, I, in your undying quest to advance the cause of humanity. You have that undying quest. In particular, your undying quest to advance the cause of women and the dead child. I thank Almighty God for this wonderful gift that is mine. And I congratulate the people of Ondo State for having two dedicated servants by electing a son. I congratulate all of you. I want to congratulate Ashley, the Deputy Governor of the state, who somebody, I think I read in one of Papa Gio, 
I've been yesterday or day before yesterday. So I, 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 I can't put date together. And he said, he said to us that the name matters. I remember those of you who read the Daily Guidance by Rabbi Deboe, as I do, we remember two, three days ago, he said name matters. Now give us an example. But when he was in the university, they had a clerk that they used to call professor. professor. And this professor was determined. He did evening class and co, went to school, uh, a clerk in university, until he became a professor. So because the name they call him professor, professor, in the end they became a professor. I think the name we give our children, or the name we bear at times, matters a lot. So I want to congratulate this man. <clears throat> when they gave you lucky, ah, they knew you would be lucky. Now you are lucky. When you are given Ori Mison <laughs> to be a deputy governor, Ori and Tobasan, Lully, the deputy governor, Ori Eson, and even your parents' name spoke volume. I hear that you are. I hear that you are. I hear that you are. You have been loyal, you have been consistent, you are worthy of this position. And I want to thank you for being considered to complete this journey with us. I have maximum four years, maybe you can proceed from there. It is for me now to come down and for you to grow. I am. I, <laughs> I must come down for him to go, and I, I've done my only little bit. So I congratulate you, congratulate your wife, congratulate your children. I, I, I love you. I was telling my wife, I said, we are just five. And I said, Daddy, look at us, we are, we are battalion. I, 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 but you have three children, I have just four. It's just that my, my children are married, that's why you have that number. So we are not too different. I just I, I, and I congratulate you, and I congratulate you, all of you, the battalion, because, because you are many. Let me thank other party leaders who are here. There are so many. I cannot but mention my good friend. I call him Ajiri Omoye. Oye Omajiri, the people are most senator. Thank you. I cannot mention also Krisha, Senator Iyola Omishori. Thank you. Both of you are with us here for the campaign. You did your best. Thank you all. But let me not forget to mention Oma, who represented a chairman, and I'm sure you are still representing a chairman today. I don't know. Representing Buni, but you are here in your own in your own uh, as an individual because you are my in-law Senator Inamani you are my in-law I thank you for coming and the other party leaders are here the ministers there are about two three ministers there Lekon you are there Abi uh -huh. uh, I think uh, Donald Trump Abi, sorry Donald Alasha And our, and our able representative in the Senate, the Senate Majority Leader, always in white. I thought you will now use black face mask so that we will now know you differently, but it's all white. Cap, white, face mask, white, everything white. Senator Ajayi Borofis, I thank you. Other leaders, Baba Ali Ranusi, I can see you from there. And I see uh, Baba Aki Yalure <laughs> and Lesa a good day. I show uh, all members of the House of Rep. <laughs> I know you are waiting to, to be annoyed. You can't be annoyed. I thank you all. If I didn't mention you, it would be another problem. 
God, they have been looking at me that this man will not remember them. BTO, Igwe, all of you, I remember all of you. Thank you so much. You have done very well. You have all done very well. And those who have just come back to us in this party, I thank you. I'm told that uh, <coughs> Biola, you are there, Abi. You, you decamped yesterday to the party. You are welcome in the house, on the floor of the house. You joined APC. Small Elijah joined before you. Abi? <coughs> so I thank all of you. Now, the number is increasing. Abi? I think for senior. Mbogwansi, that one bear. All of us, we, are, we started with how many? We are now getting larger. I thank you all. Thank you all. Mr. President of the Customary Court of Appeal, I can see your pattern, so I know you are there. My Lord, Eunice, I thank you for coming. Thank you. Ah, okay. You are now sitting with the other president of Customary Court of Appeal for motion. It's not easy for me to see all of you. So, President Cosmic Court of Appeal, Oshun, Dejo, Akombi, I thank you for coming. You are my good friend. We have been together for long. KBSIS, Egunla, Abe Akoleso, Enle Egunla, Mokinyi, Esho, Tade Kpelorio, Kibata Kpeleso, Irukeleye Akposio, Tore Anna, Mosola Anna, Irukeleye Ti, Chairman Council of Amu Abila Anna, Kisele, Kolele Tui Ato, Mbogwa Ti, Tola Wano Kisele, Kolele Tui Ato, Irukeleye Ti Polafi, Irukeleye Ama Akposio, Moki Bogbo Wao, Bogbo Ama Kabe Siwa, Eche O, Eku, 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 your support. Or the record, Junior. So, Moki, Tori, I drove my boy, you want it. I don't know, Kura. I said, Dad, Moki, you, Modupe, Modupe, Lower Wayne, Boboyi, Life, and the Consul, and you, Boboy Moki. So, I want to put up Ambi, Boboy Moki, Moki. Oh, ni bino tin ba na tu ah okay they can take you now ema won ni kin ati awon in lo mi to wa nbi all of them came from uh, Emma Biam crossing seven seas to be here and i told them i crossed seven seas to go and bring their daughter he said i should remember them i remember you all my in laws were here how come Adam, I thank you for coming. I say, the work I do my work, I go and I do bogo, and I na, and I go over, I go and I do bogo, I go. So all of you, those I'll be able to cite, I've mentioned. All of you are important. Ah, let me not forget the infant, terrible, old man, struggler, that is doctor. <laughs> my fathers in the Lord let me not forget you your prayers have kept us where we are I thank you I don't know where Bishop Abemi is but I can only see Bishop Alogunade I don't know but he said the opening prayer so I thank all my fathers in the Lord ah, okay ah, before I look at that Bishop Barakini, Mama, Mama Kure, Mama Wo, all my fathers in the Lord and mothers in the Lord. Bobo Mokio, Timei, Bobo Jukpa Mambe, okay, Motiri Abai, Nyalat Mawo Mekoto Dinyi, Modupa O, Eche O, Modupa Lo Wanyi, Bobo Nye, Bobo Nyi, Adra Nye Lokba Lori Mio, Adra Nye Tiba, Modupa, I thank everybody for coming. Thank you all. I have Johnny message to everybody. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Of course. 
हो गया भाई चल Thank you very much.